Hello there. Laliho. And welcome to another Shadowbringers video. I'm an idiot. I'm a massive idiot. I was sitting there this morning playing a bit of Operencia thinking, yeah, I'm really liking this game. And I've got, got nothing else to play uh, today because nothing happens in uh, Final Fantasy XIV until tomorrow's reset. Um, and then did what I needed to do. And uh, thought, well, I've got to level up a bit of Dancer. So I'll log in and do that. And... Um, Yeah, this. Um, it's maintenance because it's patch 5.05 right now. It's like, it's not Monday today, is it? It's Tuesday. Complete Muppets. Um, so we've got the patch notes. Patch 5.05 patch notes. Um, I don't actually know what time maintenance finishes, but it's clearly still going. Um, which is good because it means I've actually got a t I've got time to, to read through these and see what is going on. So let's take a look. Uh, 5.05 brings the savage version of the Eden's Gate raid. Which, don't get me wrong, I'm really excited about, but I'm not good enough at the game to play. Um, as well as the new Dungeons of Lyre gear, elegant tombstones of Phantom... Phantasmagoria, I can pronounce the word, and several balance changes. Okay, so we've got some new quests, some new free company stuff, new battle system stuff, new PvP stuff, new items, new system resolved in issues, uh, treasure hunt, housing, the feast. Okay, and normal blah 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 thing uh, is applied. So, as a result of recent balance changes, the actions required to complete the monk job quest Return of the Monk have been adjusted. Now, I'm I'm a terrible monk. It is, I think, my lowest level battle class. I've always found it very clunky to play, just personally. Don't like the playstyle. Love the animations. Don't like the playstyle. Um, so I have no idea what the state of monk is. I do know I haven't seen many of them as I've been leveling up. So, clearly some balance changes coming to Monk. Uh, the Dungeon of Lyre Gear. Oh, it's the new Aquapolis thing. So, the Dungeon of Lyre Gear, a special instance similar to the Aquapolis and the Lost Canals of Uznir, can be accessed after finding an opening treasure coffers obtained from Zonya skin treasure maps. Here, players will have the chance to test their luck and obtain priceless treasures. I have not ever done the Aquapolis or the Lost Canals. I've watched um, other people have videos on them, but it's, it's not something I've ever done myself. Free company! New craftable items have been added to the company workshop. Following adjustments and additions have been made to the subaquatic voyages. New submersible parts available, new destinations added. Maximum level increased by 10. Wider selection of items can be obtained from voyages. Yep, yeah, nothing new there. New furnishings. We've got uh, the boss from Don Meg. Who's now a little uh, stuffed toy. Don't know whether the crystals and the um, pots, ornaments are new as well. I don't do a whole lot of housing either. I do have a, an apartment. But uh, yeah. New orchestrion roles have been added. For the Eden fights? No, I think we could get those already. Unless they've remixed the music again. Battle system. Oof. Okay. So, pugilist slash monk. Uh, the three forms have had their effect duration increased by five seconds. Mantra's got uh, doubled its radius. Form shift has had extended grease lightning duration to maximum to the curl form bonus. Uh, if you use meditation outside combat, it opens all five chakra. Riddle of earth and riddle of fire. Have been changed. Earth's reply bonus for riddle of earth now nullifies all action direction requirements. So your positionals. Uh, riddle of fire no longer reduces recast time of weapon skills. Maybe that was making 
uh, clipping things, making things clunky. Um, oh no, it's not the cooldown, it's the recast time. Damage increase reduced from 30 to 25. So Riddle Fire has been nerfed. Forbidden Chakra can only be executed while in combat, as can Enlightenment. So I'm assuming those are quality of life changes to Monk. Uh, Rogue Ninja, Gus Slash, 50 potency increase. I know Ninja hasn't been doing so well, so that's good. Samurai. Uh, five seconds off Mekio Shishra. Shishra. Shishra? Stutter, lisp. Meditate, uh, an extra 15 seconds. Tsubama Geishi, Keishi Higambana, Keishi Goken, and Keishi Setsugeka. Cast time has been made instant. It was only really, really short before, wasn't it? But now it's been made completely instant. Um, and the potency has been doubled, trebled, doubled. 150 the same so they've changed the potencies around of shoha fashionist reassemble recast time reduced by five seconds that's probably to fit it into some kind of rotation arcan Ooh. arcanist summoner right so uh summon one two and three the recast time has been reduced to three seconds from ten so you can, again, switch it up a lot more. Bio, Bio 2, Bio 3, and Tri Disaster. The delay before the debuff is applied has been reduced. Because it's an instant cast spell, but you have to wait for the server tick before it actually lands. So if you cast Miasma, then Bio, any of the Bios, and then try and bane to spread them. Uh, you need to wait an extra second or so before just just to make sure the bio shows up, because otherwise it, it might not spread. Uh, that's always bugged me. Hopefully that will fix it. Red Mage. Uh, MP cost reduced pretty much across the board for Red Mage spells. I didn't realize that was an issue, but again, I've not really seen a huge number of red mages. So those are some fairly hefty MP cost reductions. Um, in fact, it's 100 for everything across the board. Enchanted reprise potency increased. And the mana requirements have changed as well. Scholar! Art of War potency increased by 10. Royal Mastery. Effect change from increases the potency of Ruin 2 to 160 to increases the potency of Ruin 2 and Art of War to 160. So that's the first Broil Mastery, not the second one. So a, 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 a slight increase to our Art of War. Uh, and Sucker, cast time reduced from 2.5 to 2, so we can actually get quicker shielding. That's quite a nice change. I like that. Astro. Okay, Astro, as a lot of people know, has been really struggling, really struggling. Um, so it is good that they've got some changes. So we've got a potency increase for gravity, only by 10, but much faster cast time. Uh, faster cast time on Helios, which is their AoE heal. Uh, faster cast time on Aspected Helios, which is basically Medica or um, whatever the AoE version of Sucker is. Um, and the healing potency has been doubled. The barrier damage notification reduced. Light speed has had uh, 30 seconds knocked off its recast time, so you can use it more often. Hyper light speed is what actually changes it. Uh, what, whatever level you get that. Celestial Opposition. Recast time halved. Healing potency doubled. Uh, barrier nullification reduced. So they're, they're cutting down on some of the shielding. Regen potency increased. And effect radius increased. That's, that's a fairly hefty buff. 
to Celestial Opposition. Mind you, from what I've gathered, it really needed it. Um, horoscope. I haven't leveled high enough to get a horoscope, I don't believe. Uh, healing post doubled. And duration increased by 10 seconds. Divination, recast time reduced by uh, 60 seconds. Yeah, so it's gone down from 3 minutes to 2. Uh, damage increase from 246 to 456. Sleeve draw. So before, it reset the cast, recast time of draw and grants two slack, stacks of sleeve draw for 30 seconds. After, draws a card and grants two stacks. So they have uh, simplified and smoothed out how sleeve draw works. Celestial Intersection. Healing potency has been increased from 150 to 200. Barriers damage nullification reduced from 250 to 200. Regen potency increased. So yeah, that it seems like the um, they're trying to reduce the shielding, but increasing the, uh, the, the general regen potency. New actions added. Have they added energy drain back in? They better have added, added energy, energy drain back in. Uh, right, new actions. Level 68, Hagakure. I can't remember what that did. Yay! Scholars get energy drain back at 45. Good. So that gives us something to dump our ether flow on. Uh, from quite a low level, actually, 45. Um, whether it will still be the same is another matter entirely right he healing actions performed outside of combat no longer build the limit gauge did they already that's dumb um right eden's gate savage so we've got eden prime there we have got void walker players can only register to enter eden's gate savage via the raid finder unless you're a full party uh, level requirement 80, obviously. 440, 445, 450. Um, I don't think I could enter any of these anyway. No, I, I don't actually know what my Dark Knight's item level is currently. Um, because I've been leveling other things to get the roll quest videos done. Uh, 90, 90, 90, 120 for, for Titan. I'm really, really interested because I'm not going to get to see these myself. I, I, I don't do savage content, um, but I'm really, really intrigued to see uh, what these are like when other people produce videos about them. Uh, so there's a quest to do for that. Uh, you get a coffer. Treasure coffer will appear containing an Eden Grace coffer. Using that item transforms it into gear corresponding to the user's current job. In addition, the coffers that appear on completing Sepulchre Savage yield weapons. Unlike previous Savage Race, the treasure coffers do not yield armor and accessories. So, just like we've had the, the coffers while we have been questing, it looks like they're going to drop coffers for certain pieces. But, if, for example, I wanted to tank but to gear off my healer, I could use, the, the say, the chest piece dropped for me. Uh, the chest coffer. But I wanted it for the healer. Um, I could switch over to healer and open it on that and I get a healer piece so just like the, the the quest reward coffers that we've been getting if the party contains players replaying an area prior to the weekly reset number of treasure coffers blah 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 yeah S same system as it has been in the past uh, by selecting duty completion players will not be matched with those who have already completed the duty uh, in addition to gear players will re receive an Eden's Gate Apocrypha from each area which can be ex exchanged for gear of your choosing so that's the token system um, like the Mackie Farthing and so on and so forth. 
and yeah you need various um bits and pieces different tokens and those are your upgrade items as well so savage has been added rain finder yes xp gained by trust npcs has been increased i hope it's fairly dramatically um i i've been leveling up dancer and my plan was as soon as i got to 71 to run holmes to switch with my trusts um because it is faster usually than waiting for you know a, just a random dungeon but I, you know, I added up how much XP because they get two and a half million XP per Holmes to switch run, and it was like six runs. That's that's three plus hours at least to get a level, um, and then the, my ones that are already you know leveled up a bit. It it's stupid. So I'm hoping that that has really buffed up the amount of XP they get. I'd like it to say dramatically increased. Um, I, if I'm honest, I would like it to double. It took for them to get five million uh, rather than two and a half. Uh, as soon as I can actually log in and check, we'll find out. New elite marks have been added. Oh. Okay, so we've we've got some more uh, more elite marks that we can go and add. Right, Tomestones of Phantasmagoria, uh, four fifty per week, maximum of four uh, of two thousand. Can only reach at level eighty, uh, so there'll be some gear available for that. To enhance gear, also available. So just like at the start of every expansion, we get enhancements and so on and so forth. Um, so the the number of tombstones has changed. To, to take into account the new currency uh nothing new there that's just eyeballing it looks very very similar to yeah that that's pretty much identical i think to, to how it's been done in previous raids at uh, raids expansions pvp actions have been adjusted uh extra hp for the tanks and the melee dps and some slight changes to uh, cast time for samurai actions. So clearly, th there's been some concern in content that the melee jobs are getting the short end of the stick. Um, obviously, this is PvP only, but clearly it was an issue in PvP as well. Uh, feast changes, heavy metal and light metal have been removed. Don't know what they've replaced them with new items have been added uh these i'm assuming are the savage or they might be craftable but i'm guessing they're i don't know because they're they're not the the normal eden raid stuff and there's no new dungeon so either they're crafted, they're all very thematic with the black and red. The tank gear looks very, very cool. And they've got masks as well, which is interesting. Uh, new recipes have been added for new uh, gear items. I still really, really want the Summer Indigo shirt, the, the, the Laguna shirt. Uh, but it's currently about 7 million on Ragnarok. And I've shopped around on the different servers and it, it's extortionately expensive. If anybody wants to make me one and send me one in the post, that would be very, very kind of you. Um, yeah, 7 million gil is all the gil I have. I'm not a crafter. I don't do much in the way of trading. Um, so it's, it's going to be a while. Don't think I'll be wanting those, to be honest. New master recipes added, new mounts. That's a flying bed. That's just bizarre. New minions. Foggy. 
New achievements and titles. Another summoning bell has been added to the Crystarium. Right. Following issues have been addressed. In issuing the Scholar Job Quest, a safe place to hide when the quest required that Illustrate be used outside of combat. Which is no longer possible. Yeah, a different action is now required. Uh, an issue when certain machinist job quests could not be completed after le reaching level 78, which upgrades Hotshot to Air Anchor. Yeah, there were a couple that you need to actually use Hotshot. The one that's in the broom, if I remember correctly. You had to Hotshot something. Um, different actions required. Uh, an issue in the fates. More than one Bertram could appear. Uh... Appearance of Garuda Eggy to that of Carbunk will cause the effect of Windblade to be displayed incorrectly. Tool tips for PvE Tri Disaster has been fixed. Potency uh, tool tips for Tornoida Kick was fixed. Uh, White Mage PvP actions fixed. Tool tips. Wondrous Tales. I keep getting that message about Wondrous Tales. I, I need to go and hand the book in. I've had one for. Over a year now, probably. Uh, deep Dungeon. HP and attack power were incorrect. Sorted. An issue wherein, under certain conditions, Vera hairstyles were no longer displayed after changing them. Didn't see... Not seen that bug. Mind you, I've not changed my hairstyle. Uh, time 1 Glider Skin Map. Number of players has been fixed. Other various issues have been addressed. Yeah. I wish I wish they'd link through to the high resolution uh, images for for these um, because they're, they're actually scaled up for for this, which is why they look a little bit blurry. Um, yeah, so I just need to uh, wait for maintenance to finish before I can go in and test out some of these. I I, I want to know what. Uh, energy drain does. Mind you, I wonder if it's been added to where is the job guide? Yeah. Has it been added onto here? Yeah, it has. Deals unaspected damage with a potency of 150, absorbs a portion of damage delta's HP and and restores MP. Wait, what? Did Energy Drain always restore HP? Now quite at level 45. Previously level 6. And it was level 6 way back when. Oh no, sucker, sucker is the AoE. It's Adloquium that's the um, the single target. So they've lowered the recast of... Uh, not the, the recast, the cast time of the, the AoE. So it will go off quicker. That's actually quite a good change. Um, because sometimes you do, you do need to, to hit it quick. Especially if you've uh, misread a fight, as I do regularly. And need to... Um, the, the, there's something casting. It's like, oh, I need to get an AoE shield out faster. Um, yeah, energy drain is back. So we've got a dump for our excess. Um, because I, I found that I do often have um, a single excess uh, ether flow at times not always depends on how big the tank's pulling um but especially in solo yeah you know, if you're not playing summoner which i'm not because i'm rubbish at it if you've watched my uh my magic dps roll quest stuff you'll know this um but yeah that that's that's a good that's a good change there's some good changes in there so, uh, yeah, I'm going to go and edit this together and uh, wait and see whether I can get into game at any uh, any point. I'm assuming the maintenance is on probably till 11, something like that. We'll see. Uh, I'll, I'll leave a message up to, <laughs> to say. 
Until then, folks, thank you all for watching this. Not particularly exciting patch note reading, but uh, there's some there's some good changes in there. Interesting, actually, that there's no changes to Dark Knights. I know a lot of people were saying that Dark Knights a little bit low on the the DPS size, but I don't know. Either way, the Art of War slight buff um, to the potency I think will be quite good. Just for watching. Catch you all next time. Cheerio. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click the like button and subscribe. Remember to ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live. And until next time, toodle pip.